I'm Carrie Merchant with Buzzed Into the 920. I'm at the Hearthstone Museum in Appleton with Andrea today. Can you explain uh, what's special about this museum? Sure, it's actually the first house in the world to be lit by electricity, and it's actually hydroelectricity. There was a plant uh, just down the river on the Fox River that um, not only gave electricity to the mill, but also to this house. Um, and Mr. Rogers um, was the man that owned this house, and he was on a fishing trip with a man um, that was an Edison salesman, and he had suggested to do electricity, and so he gave it a try, and it worked. But because of that connection, you guys have a pretty exciting collection of photographs coming in? We do. It's the lost photos of Thomas Edison, and it's pictures of Edison, his cameras, um, his inventions and things like that. His personal ph photographer was Louis Luter, and we have his cameras, his books, his notebooks, everything. It's, it's quite amazing. It's never been seen ever. Can you tell me a little bit more about what these photographs are of? Sure. Uh, we actually have one photograph in particular downstairs that's a picture of Edison unshaven and he's just in a kind of a relaxed state. It's never been seen before and a lot of people think he actually looks like uh, Hemingway. It's kind of uh, interesting. Uh, but that's one picture that you'll see. There's a picture of Edison throwing out a first pitch at a baseball game. Um, and then a lot of inventions that um, have never been seen before as well. What is the time frame of when these pictures were taken? Um, about 1913 to about 1923 or so. And when was this house built? This house was actually built in 1882, and it was lit with electricity on September 30th, 1882. And what can people expect if they came here for a tour? They'll get a guided tour with um, some of our fantastic volunteers that will take them around, tell them the history of electricity, the house, and the Rogers family that lived here initially. And then you'll also get to see the lost photos of Thomas Edison as well.